great lunch and the AC is also kind of full. So if you guys actually plan to, you know, take a 10 minute nap, I'm going to stop you from doing that. Yeah, I know food and Kochi has a really great, really great relation. I have been personally experiencing that for like the last two days. Yeah, because I I started my breakfast with dosa. I I I had I had biryani and biryani at lunch, and then again these guys took me yesterday night to a small lunch, I mean, sorry, a small dinner. So so kochi and food has a really great relation. But 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 before you guys sleep. Let's let's get back to something new. As these guys have introduced me, uh, let's let's start. Okay, so how many people here have been working remotely? Know what is remote work, or are currently working remotely? Oh, pretty many in my gang. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of people. Okay. So these, so, so after my presentation, if, if you guys happen to fall into some, some doubts or something, and I, I'm not around, have a look at these hands. Where were those hands? I mean, can you can, can I have those hands up, please? If I'm not available, these guys would probably be able be able to answer you all your questions. Yeah. So, so remote work means. Working remotely, but but for for students, for many people, for my parents, Dada ji, Mama ji, Kaka ji, sab ke liye, it is like someone sitting in front of the computer for like ten hours every day, and they wonder what we do. How many? How many have? I mean, how many of you guys have experienced such kind of things? Sitting at home with nothing, yeah. So, so this is this is remote work. No, remote work is not like that. Uh, so, so uh, remote work basically is like you you sit somewhere, not particularly home, maybe your small office, and work sincerely with discipline all the time. Um, when I say all the time. I mean to say, all the time you are supposed to, and not all the day. But, but yes, uh, it 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 uh, it involves a lot of things. Um, you need to be uh, ready for that. And today I'm going to actually share all my experiences uh, of working remotely for the last uh, a few years. And uh, and before I started running my uh, before I stopped running my own small agency and switched to remote working, um, it's it's been a few years now, and so these these are my experiences. Uh, so so the pointers you guys will be looking at are are pretty pretty common, pretty everyday things, but uh, these these are these are these are some points uh, where we guys would I mean I I would be uh, narrating you a few incidents, a few stories on how things happen, how how I go about it, what are my approaches, so so you understand on how things go about. The first and the foremost thing when you start working remotely, so called remotely, is time management. Now. It is, it is not that time management ki I have to get up in the morning, do two hours of work, three hours of this, four hours of that, and done. No, 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 not like that. Uh, time management is like, uh, during the course of the day, uh, I, will, I will work for these many hours, and I will go to gym for these many hours, and I will, I will learn for this many hours. So, so leaving the the uh, the work thing and the learn thing, whatever comes is is 
is not to be included in the time management. Um, that, that is basically obviously for me, uh, that, that's something which I have been doing. Um, so when, when, when it starts with time management, uh, the first thing which, which comes is discipline. And uh, the second thing which comes is commitment. Discipline means uh, there should be a work discipline, there should be a house discipline. Uh, I was pretty undisciplined uh, before I started working remotely and of late I started uh, experiencing the, the bad outputs of that. Uh, so, 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 so how I implemented discipline in, in my life is uh, I, I set the number of hours I will be working for a day uh, and I set the number of hours uh, I, will, um, uh, I set the number of hours I set the number of hours uh, I'll be working for a week and then then I plan accordingly that with say what the, what time I will be working, uh, what time I will be learning, and and so on. So uh, when you start working for the week, uh, you should you should have the whole week plan ready. That okay, fine. Monday eight hours, Tuesday seven hours, uh, Wednesday ten hours, uh, and so on. So so I decided to have a whole week plan first. Uh, then gradually, when I got used to the the week plan, I shifted to a two week plan, then a three week plan, and now I am in the process where I implement a four week plan at a stretch. So, so, so my month end starts with making a plan that okay, fine, month of December, I am going to work these many hours, and. I work that many hours, and and yes. So so when when I say I work these many hours, I I completely work that many hours. I mean that that really does not include any of my lunch breaks. That does not include any of my washroom breaks, phone breaks, this breaks, that breaks, chai breaks, sutta breaks, nothing. That that absolutely does not include anything. That is pure work. I mean, nothing else. If I if I have to stop for a call, I stop my time, and that's how I count that I work these many hours. So you need to be really specific. You need to be really disciplined uh, when you have to work remotely. It's 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 not something like a nine to five job where you go to the job, you get and you get a small break for tea, you get a small break for chai, you get a small break for lunch and then you go for team discussions and do stuff and do all, all the time pass which happens in the office, do chitter chatters. So yes, I mean that, that really does not happen in remote work because what happens is when I work, I, I have a timer which tracks how much time I work, which tracks what I work and which tracks where, where do I work. So for example, I stop for like five minutes, uh, I don't touch my computer, the timer is going to stop. For example, I'm working and then I go to just, I mean, I just, I just want to go to YouTube and do stuff and I just go to YouTube, find some movie trailers and stuff. That is going to be tracked and that is going to be excluded from my time. So, so this is, this is the first thing which, which is to be kept in mind while, while you work remotely. The next thing is uh, team communication because so I, being a support guy, uh, I've been working in support for like a few years now, and so so you need to have a great team communication when you work in a team which is spread across the globe. Uh, who sleep? I mean, yeah, it, it's a team which uh, which works when you sleep, you work when they sleep. So it's it's vice versa. So you need to be really specific uh, about about what you're communicating with them. For example, uh, I am working on uh, a member concern or something like that and and I happen to get uh, 
stuck up in in middle, and and then I have to I have to send that particular thing to someone else so that they can take up. So for example, uh, I I work in WPMU. They have there are many people here from WPMU. They also. So for example, today I'm working on an issue. I get stuck up, and tomorrow uh, I, I I need that issue to be worked out by someone else. What am I going to do? Is I am going to write every specific description, every specific thing which I have, I have been working on, which I have found, and I am going to send a really detailed report to someone else. So then that person is going to take over and work on it. So, so you need to be really specific when you write. You need to be clear. You need to be crisp. Uh, so, so end, end point. What we take from team communication is your communication should be really nice. You should be great at communicating things. Um, that is what team communication is. Because what happens is today, if you if you write something and and say there's someone from my team who is going to work on that, and and they are really not clear with what I mean, then that's a move. What happens is. He will write back to me asking certain questions. I have to reply them, and then the cycle will go round and round. So what happens is, I start work morning eight o'clock. I I make a ticket which is not clear. Then there is someone from the team named Joel who who is going to work on that particular thing at say what night ten o'clock, and I would be going to bed at ten o'clock. So Joel comes in. Joel looks at him and Joel is like what. This is like shit. I don't understand anything. Where are the proofs? Where are the logs? Where is everything? And then he calmly writes, "Okay, I need this. What happened when you did this? What happened when you did that?" And he will just leave it because he is not clear with the issue. So, so what happens is the time frame required for any particular thing to resolve will increase. When time increases, your reputation for work goes down. I mean, it 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 really does not go down that way. But what happens is your members have to wait, and then apparently your company is in the losses because end of the day, what will happen is uh, any any member would expect you to revert back to them in the saturated period of time. So, so this is where team communication comes intact. The next thing is. Prioritizing things when we work. So, so what what do I mean by prioritizing? Um, when I mean prioritize, I need to know the emergence of anything. So, I I start work at eight o'clock in the morning, and I have ten things on my plate. It's 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 not a FIFO structure where I am working. I need to figure out what is really important. I need to see what what is less important. I need to see who is waiting more for the reply. So if there is a customer uh, and his ticket is on the tenth number, but say what his whole site is down, he needs to get a reply first because his, his business is getting ruined. So you need to prioritize, prioritize things, and accordingly work on it. This is this is completely work-related thing. But the next thing is uh, is 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 life-related that. You need to you need to have uh, your your schedule ready for the day. Uh, you need to know that at any point of time, uh, this is my first priority. And obviously, uh, 90% of the times the work would be your first priority. But but at times, at times, this is this is not the case. Uh, at, in some point of cases, you really need to also look into. Family things. We need to look into personal things. So, prioritizing things is really important when you work remotely because there's no one who's going to come and tell you you have to do this, you have to do that, you have you have to complete this site, you have to work on this issue. No one is going to come. There is no one who will come and trouble you and say today you have to do this and then only you will go home because you are already at home. How will you go home? So, so this is remote work again. I mean, uh, many of you might be thinking that you know now this is like super complicated and stuff. But I am like just just putting everything crisp and clear on the plate. So, 
So you get an idea that what things happen, how things happen around um, remote working. Then, as I said in the first point, commitment and discipline is is really important. Uh, if I if I if I say I'm going to work eight hours, I am going to work eight hours. That that is the commitment. So I'll, I'll tell you a small story uh, relating to commitment. I uh, I would not name people, I would not name companies, and I would not name things. But but the story is very simple. I I got on a trial with some company, and I was like really doing great. The conversations were like super. Uh, uh, I had like five stars and four stars. Uh, the bosses were happy. Uh, my communication was great. Everything was super. But you know, we we Indians, we Indians are like super confident, and then we become overconfident. And when then we when we become overconfident, we we commit something which is something next to impossible. And that is what happened with me when I was working with someone on on a trial job. And what happened is I I committed 200 tickets for the week, and I could just complete like 180 tickets for for the week. And that is where the lack of commitment came in. Right? Overconfidence I would say I was like overconfident at that time, but but you need to keep that in mind. You need to estimate that okay fine I will be able to do this much, then you should be able to do that much. As a, this 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 would not be agreed that you you promise four hundred and you do two hundred. That, that's something which is really not accepted because what happens is uh, in these remote companies no one will come and tell you to do specific things on specific time no one will overburden you out uh, with relating to tasks but but you have to define your own tasks you will have to define how many tasks will you be working on this particular week what things you will be working on uh, what new things are you going to plan and learn and 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 then prepare a chart and then submit it so so yes uh, this is really really important uh, you need to be really disciplined so i i i did not notice the slide went ahead uh, yeah. so so the next part is work and focus work and focus so before starting work and focus, I don't think anyone is focusing here. I mean, those guys in or the back are like sleeping. Those guys are like in the mobiles. Uh, two uncles are there. Must have paid work. Now they are like in plans of sleep. And these guys are like watching me. Joel is like calm. Or khana khaya. So, so yes, um, those guys out in the on, on the back, uh, I request you to keep your mobiles a bit away. Uh, those uncles out there, please don't sleep. Uh, I'm not that boring. <laughs> I'm really not that boring. So, uh, work focus is something which you which which is really important. So, so there's there's again another story which I have for work focus. Uh, I. One fine day I got up in the morning uh, at 4 o'clock, uh, I started working and at 6 o'clock I get a call from my colleague saying that you know what, my computer broke down. And I'm like okay. So, so I drove 40 kilometers straight to give him my spare machine and he drove around 30 kilometers straight to take that machine. And then he got back home and started working again. So, so this is something which you need to understand that that this is this is not a desk job. This is not a job where you where you give out excuses. My RAM is not working. I need to call the engineer. It's of nature. This is really not going to work. Uh, so I drove the 30 kilometers. He drove 20, 30 kilometers, and he, he took the machine. He went home. He started working. I got back home. I started working. And then we worked for like 
six, seven hours. So, so this is this is called work, and the other thing is called focus. मतलब we we were so focused that we just knew we need to meet, we need to exchange things, and we need to get back and work. So, so I started six o'clock. I I reached back eight o'clock, and I was again on my desk working till three o'clock in the afternoon. This is work and focus. Excellent. Ah, look, I know this can be a bit boring, but this is how it works when you actually start working in the morning. The next thing is quality and performance. Out of these all things, then comes this quality and performance. So, Indian companies are like really. Uh, what you call really excited to you know uh, have that performance bonus and performance reports, quality reports and stuff. So how how quality and how performance come comes into into our scenarios? Another story. The story is. Uh, I'm sorry. I missed it from my mind. I have to wait for the next. Yes. So, so quality and performance. So what happens is, um, I work eight hours per day, which is like forty hours per week, and which is like hundred and sixty hours per month. When I mean hundred and sixty hours per month, I mean complete hundred and sixty hours. As I as I mentioned before. There is no chai break. There is no coffee break. No phone break. No, no break. There is absolutely no break. So, so what happens is, one fine day, my my brother, uh, sorry, my, my colleague fell ill, and and he was not able to work for like fifteen to eighteen days, and then I had to uh, wake up every morning and cover his shifts because he was not taking well. So here comes a scenario where where I was working from morning 4:30 to 11:30, and then again doing my regular shifts, which were like at 2:30 to 7:30, sorry 1:30 to 7:30. So so I I was working for like 13 hours per day. 13 hours to 14 hours per day, which is like which were like super hectic. I mean, uh, and then I had to I had to maintain. The quality of work I did, the performance which I was giving back, uh, the the output which I was giving back to members, I had to maintain that. And what happens is like, so we support people, we do chat shifts, we have shifts where we sit on chats and we talk to people, uh, basically our members. So so we give all in one support basically. So so what happens is I. I sit on chats and after nine hours of chat, I'm like, oh my god, what he is he talking about? I mean, there, there, there comes a member who is like super clear with his question, but then too, I really don't get anything out of it. I mean, this has happened with me like two days back, uh, I think, or three days back, when I was when I was doing uh, coverage shifts and. And then I stumbled into our uh, group channel and I asked Aditya, I was like, are you sure this is wrong or are you sure this is correct or are you sure what is happening? And then he's like, okay, no, no, wait, this is not the thing. So, so again, this again links to quality, uh, so this quality performance thing, again, uh, again when, I, when, I, when I tell you my story, it again goes back to team communication. What happens is I work for eight hours. I work for nine hours and then my brain is not running, and then I have to ask someone for the help. There again, I need to have great communication. So, so things are really interconnected over here. Then again, getting back to quality and performance, uh, we need to be super clear about things. Uh, then is then is when people like Aditya, people like me, Joel, uh, people like Nitin, and many more people in the behind. It. Will be able to help me with the issue. This is this is how it is. So so after working for like two three years, I I 
I came to know that you know, roaming around cafes, roaming around districts, roaming around cities. I was like traveling a lot back then. Is is really not going to help me uh, in in this remote work. So so I went back home and I I decided to make a small office inside my room. Then I went ahead and bought a table. Uh, I went ahead and bought a good display and 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 I made my table. And I made my table. And then I decided that I will I will sit on the table. I mean on the chair actually. I will sit on this chair and I will keep everything on this table and I will work. So, so I made a proper setup where where I would work, a proper thing which would which would be good for me. And this is how I was able to uh, get more growth in my performance, get more growth in things I was working on. Then the last thing uh, which comes into contact. When you work remotely, is technological hiccups. And today we are in a country where where internet is super, power is super, uh, resources are very very super. And in this super super and very very super scenarios, we lose internet, we lose electricity. I mean, there's a power cut. Uh, then again, someone comes in when something happens. Uh, somewhere a road is dug and the internet line gets lost. So, so there are many technological hiccups which which happen around uh, remote work. You you need to have backups to tackle that. Like internet is not working, no problem. I have a hotspot. I have two hotspots. And I ended up having three hotspots sometime. So that was the case when I was roaming around cities. Uh, one internet connection is not working. Okay, switch off. Next starts. What second is not working? No problem. Third starts. So so I had four SIM cards. Four different hotspots because battery was getting uh, depleted, so I need I need to have power banks and I need to have hotspots. So so technological hiccups matter a lot. You need to be ready with everything and and make sure things happen nicely. So after after listening to everything remote, after listening to all these technological hiccups, uh, all the challenges, if if at all you would like to work. Remotely, it it is a great it is a great option. Uh, things are really great, and yes, uh, we are also hiring. So if you guys are planning to work remotely, uh, if you guys are developers, if you guys are support people, if you guys are bloggers, marketers, whatever, we we are always hiring. You guys can reach out to us, and this is me, Prashmi Shivaji. Any questions?